<laughs> what is up? It's your boy Skaz One with another episode coming straight at you of Music Industry Scams Exposed. Yeah. What you know about that? What you know about it? Yo. So today, today we are talking about a tale as old as a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking artists selling features and running off. And it's pretty self-explanatory. So this is not going to be the longest video in my set of music scam videos because there's not a lot to explain here. First off, as I've been saying, kind of a theme that's been running throughout this whole fucking series. Paying up front is not something that you ever, 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 ever want to do if you can avoid it. Don't ever pay up front, negotiate, try to um, try and maybe pay half up front. If they really won't do the work though, before you give them the money, something is suspect about that person. Now, if it's like a large corporation, organization, or, you know, somebody who just doesn't need you as a customer and they're like, whatever, then maybe, you know, it's different. But dealing one-on-one -on -one with people who are going to provide a service for you, if they're on the level, normally I would say that they're not going to make you pay up front. They'll just do what you need to do and then you'll pay for it. Makes sense, right? So, first red flag is if somebody wants you to pay up front. So, if you're going to a rapper that you want to collab with and he says um, I need I need money I don't rap for free you need to pay for my verse that's fine rappers do charge for their verses sometimes and it is you know they have to eat too but you need to watch out with rappers who are a lot more famous than you rappers who you're not going to be able to find rappers who you know i mean first things first make sure you're con do your research and make sure you're contacting the right accounts because even you know i'm someone who's totally against scams but a, an average person if they got a contact on their instagram like hey what's up man how much for a feature and they're running one of those fake accounts why wouldn't they be like oh a thousand dollars send it to this paypal and send the beat here and i'll have your feature for you right in like nah bruh that's not, no, like, nah. Like, maybe, maybe if they're, like, important enough a person, and even then I'd say no, you could give half up front and half later. But why would they need it up front? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of people who are my friends and my homies and we're close, and I know where they sleep, and sometimes I pay, I pay them up front, or engineers who I show up and pay, but through an email, I'm not going to pay you up front. On the phone, I'm not going to pay you up front. And you shouldn't need to be paid up front because if you're going to do what you're going to do and not scam me, I'm going to pay you. Or else you're not going to give me the final files on it, the project files that you... Like, There's, it's very simple. If you're an artist and you know you, you need the project files to properly mix and master the files. So as long as nobody's sending anything original... Like, no project files, just samples and snippets. There should be no reason they make you pay up front. None at all. I wouldn't deal with them. I went on a certain rapper's Instagram a couple months ago, and I'm not going to say who. And I asked them how much for a verse, and they said six grand up front. And I said, I can't afford it. Two seconds later, it was fucking four grand immediately immediately it was four grand so you know always always turn down their first offer because they are gonna highball the shit out of you and secondly again like i had a guy who i paid a thousand dollars for just a hook it wasn't even a verse it was just a hook and i made the fucking mistake of paying this guy up it took six months for this guy to get my shit done and i had paid him up front and I shouldn't have, you know what I mean? But he got it done, he said it to me, the song is done, mixed and mastered, all that. But the fucking asshole when he sent it to me, and he's lucky I'm not putting his name on this because he did send it to me. But when he sent it to me, just so he knows, he sent me not even the project files, just some bullshit, like a already recorded, 
like just a, a rough bounce of his dumb ass doing the hook. So my engineer was able to work with it and make it sound good, but it wasn't nearly as good as it would have sounded as if this man had just been a professional and done what he was supposed to do. And again, he was, I was dealing with him through his manager. That may or may not have been true. His manager probably is just him faking that because like you know what I mean I don't know what he sounds like when he's not rapping or singing like it's it could everything is just a smoke screen that's 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 a good thing to remember in the music business is most of what you see is just a smoke screen and a finesse but rappers what I'm mainly trying to tell you is that people are selling verses and running off with the money so you can't let yourself be paying somebody up front maybe half up front and half later but even then if they're charging like 10 grand they'll they'll run with your 5k you know what i'm saying make it and and also always negotiate always negotiate do not ever always take the first offer because pe everybody's hungry everybody wants money people people will do it for lower trust me on that don't take somebody's first price ever ever so you know if you're out there buying verses, make sure, you know, you really get in contact with the person, you get the shit before you pay for it because there are people taking money and running off with the verses. And then what you got, you have nothing. You're just left with the, you just took the L, essentially. You took the L. So, that is that. Watch out who the fuck you're giving your money to and don't pay them up front or else you're about to get schizammed. Stop that shit. Stop giving these scammers an industry to work with. This has been your host, guys. One, busting scams left and right, trying to make the music industry more honest. If you believe in this shit, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You, I know there's people out here who hate this shit as much as me. So let's, let's, you know, let, I'm going to keep making these videos. Y'all keep tuning in and we'll keep fighting scams together. You feel me? You feel me? Peace. If you enjoyed that, make sure you check out my music videos, my other shows, and all the other ill shit that I got up on my channel. And you better hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Peace. You know this, so never say never forever. Clever endeavors of which sent in my temper. Can you remember December, September, November? It's too much effort. Big spending legal tender line in my suspenders, which will render my suspension confidential, non essential, non credential personnel. And not to enter in the temple, they can do Where it. I came from simple. the east, but the west does it best. Don't stress, couldn't pass the test. Nonetheless, I'm blessed. Wanna get that off my chest. Stay humble. I'm a narcissist Rap came from the east But the west does it best Don't stress Couldn't pass the test Nonetheless, I'm blessed Wanna get that off my chest Stay humble even though I'm a narcissist This had to happen Or I would've stay stagnant Another example of why I fucking hate faggots I don't mean gay folks I mean these fake bastards Everything they wanted to take And they can't have it I have a psychotic with massively savage behind this rap shit not passively passing out your tape from that piff at this rate it's just too late for that shit i kick the habit i'm not just an addict may not win no beauty pageants but i'm still above the average espn classics that's a fantastic first round draft pick new inside the plastic see what i'm worth once a few more years passes more backstage passes and more slap dashes more crowd reactions yep raps my passion so if i'm not in Traction, showing up slightly late, struck up in the traffic, tragic, but I'll never lose the magic like basketball Rap in Orlando. We check east, back, but the west does it best. Don't stress, couldn't pass the test. Nonetheless, I'm blessed. 
wanna get that off my chest Stay humble even though I'm a narcissist Rap came from the east but the west does it best Don't stress, couldn't pass the test Nonetheless I'm blessed Wanna get that off my chest Stay humble even though I'm a narcissist